What's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman, guys. And today I have some awesome topwater action for y'all. I actually filmed this video a few days ago with Kickin' Their Bass TV and we were just hammering some fish, but I forgot to film an intro because it was pouring down rain and we just kind of went out to fish, brought our GoPros, didn't really know if we were going to be able to make a video or not, but we just wanted to go catch some hogs and that is exactly what we did. We were popping frogs and flipping and pitching some creature baits and we were just having so much fun. The fish were biting like crazy and it was a really fun day. But I wanted to go ahead and show y'all exactly what I'm going to be using in today's video just so y'all have an idea before we jump into things. And our first little thing right here is this white poppin' frog right here. This thing was my bread and butter for most of the day. Had a lot of really good blow ups on this thing and just had it paired up with this medium heavy fast action rod. I really need like, oh god. I really need a 7.4 heavy rod match with a reel that actually has some heavy braid on it, but unfortunately I did not have one of those with me. I snapped my heavy rod and I don't have any braid on that reel, so I was just kind of getting away with that. And then on top of that I was also using this purple lizard and also a really cool creature bait that I will show y'all in the video. That about does it for the baits, but let's go ahead and hop into the video, but make sure you stick around because I catch a really nice one at some point later on in the video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's get it. Starting out with this white frog right here, and I'm gonna throw it in the infamous corner, guys. This corner <laughs> always has a fish. If I don't get a bite on the first cast, I'll probably get one in at least probably like five casts. Let's, let's see what happens here. That sound. Oh, was that a bite? Oh, oh, there we go. I literally was taking my hand out of my, uh, I put my hand in my pocket to take a bite of this piece of candy right here. We got a little cow. Oh no, oh, there he goes. I had like this cow tail. I was, uh, <laughs> My sweet tooth was kicking in right there before I could even get started fishing and sure enough that fish bit the second I went to take a bite of this thing. <laughs> That's hilarious guys. <laughs> oh well, I probably should pay attention. Well, I guess that counts as the first fish. I didn't touch him, but I got him on the bank. So I'm counting it. Dude, that fish ate it when I was just letting it sit there. Yeah, because I mean, I took my hand out of my pocket to eat the cattail. Ooh, ooh. I jerked the freaking rod out of my hand. I might touch that weird because I'm not. I'm gonna steal him from you. Man, you should eat. He's gonna eat you. There we go. Oh no! Dang. Yeah, they're biting. They're uh, they're up on this stuff. There's that's for sure. God, he he definitely got a piece of it. I'm gonna have to let him take it a little bit more than I have been. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there's a good fish. And this is gonna be the first fish I get my hands on. Second fish I caught that first one rolled back into the water while I was trying to eat my candy. <laughs> <laughs> but these frogs right now are some bass candy. These fish are loving them. I've had quite a few bites and that is a chunky little small guy right there. Super fat, just really filled out. But probably only about a pound. I'm hoping I can get a guy like three or four times the size of this guy at least today. So we're gonna go ahead and let him go. He just soaked me even though we're fishing it in the rain. So it doesn't really matter. But I gotta fix my frog right here and get back in there. See if we can't find ourselves a nice fatty that'll eat this thing. I had two bites since you got that, huh? Really? They're they're biting. They're not, like, they're not taking it. I don't know. Like, that bite is really weird. I was like, I just need you to inhale it. There we go. Got him. That guy just barely grabbed it right there. Come in here, buddy. Oh, he's gonna surf right in here for me. And that's a pretty good fish. Noah, what's going on, bro? That's that's three to zero right now. <laughs> Get up here. Now that is more like it, guys. Getting closer to that two pound range. Saw a little fish. Gonna go ahead and stick this nice 
green guy back in this water. There he goes. <laughs> yes. Well, guys, we have decided to switch spots. We ran out of frog bites right there. We probably got, I don't know, what do you want to say, like 10, 10, 10, 12 bites? 10 bites. Something like that. But uh, we were probably like 50 50 on the bites. So we're going to go ahead and move spots and see if we can't find some more. I'm quickly going to switch over to this little creature bait just to give this a shot. There's a pipe right here that I want to toss this thing in front of and see if I can't get something to come out of this thing and hammer it. Here we go. Let's see what happens. I have no line left on this thing. <laughs> You try slinging it down this bank line. Yeah, I'll try parallel on it. Oh, I got one. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. That's a fat one right there, guys. Oh my. Oh goodness gracious. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, bro, bro. Oh my god. Why do we, dude? That is the fattest fish I've ever seen. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, look at that, We're barely in the top of your mouth. Dude, I did not barely think that. Barely in the top. It didn't look that big. I didn't think it was that big. Look at that. Oh my That's God. like a six pounder's and a four pounder's body. It's probably a five. Oh, no. uh, I don't think it's six, but I'm throwing her on the scale. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. That was unexpected. Let me grab this scale. Like, I really did not think that fish was that big until I set the hook. I was sitting there like having a conversation with Noah and I like just felt my line moving. I wasn't hardly paying attention. Like, <laughs> five even. Oh, yeah. Five even! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. That is a freaking toad. Well, guys, I, I don't even know what to say about that. Like, literally, two of these fish, the very first fish in this one that I just caught, I was like half paying attention. Me and Noah are just out here like chatting. And we're really just out here seeing if we can make a video. It's been like raining, as you can tell. So we just weren't sure if we were gonna make anything out of today. And we just figured we'd come out and cast around and see what happens. And like literally guys, but I'm not paying attention at all. This pig comes up and grab it. And I don't think me or Noah had any idea how big this fish actually was until we like got it up on the bank right there because when it came up I thought it might be like a three pounder like three and a half which is like a good fish by all means but I did not expect it to be like that I mean good gracious that is probably the you fattest can't even, you can't tell how fat she is on the camera either no not Dude, she's just so fat I, like, like through the camera she looks skinny almost I don't know why that is insane <laughs> all right big mama make sure you swim off nice and easy Oh yeah, oh yeah, all right, let's, oh, oh, there she goes. <laughs> yes, guys, yes, that was epic. Okay, that was eventful to say the least. Let me uh, toss this thing back out here and see if there isn't another fish up against this thing. I have like no line on my spool right now. I literally like re-spooled this thing like two or three days ago and I just don't understand where all my line went. So that's always good, but I'll make it work. I caught a five pounder with no line, so that's that's fine. I hope there's one in that pipe. I, I told y'all that's what I wanted to fish right when I walked down here, but I didn't get anything to come out of it the first few casts. I'm gonna try casting on it again, see if I can't dangle myself a fish right on out of there. Oh, there's a fish. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that, guys. I knew there had to be a fish on that thing. Come here, little buddy. It's just a tiny little doofus right here, but <laughs> once I get him to calm down, I'll get him off of here. Gosh. All right, all right. There we go. Get that hook out of this little sucker's mouth. <laughs> we go from a five pounder to a uh, five ouncer. Funny how that works sometimes. Let's go ahead and get him back in. <laughs> just a little dinker. Oh, dude, I thought there was a bug going right there. I thought that was your line zooming out to the right. <laughs> it looked just like your line. I'm gonna go down this way just a tad bit, see what I can find down this side of the bank. Let's see what's going on over here.
There's a pipe. There we go. Got him. Go get out from underneath there. Yeah. Come up here, bud. Yes, sir. A little bit better than a, a full-on squeaker, but definitely no giant fish by any means. Oh, God. Calm down there, bud. If that was a big fish, I might have been screwed right there because he went straight up in the trees. But since he was just a little small guy, I was able to yank him on out of there. Well, let's go ahead and get this guy back in. Shoo! Well, I'm all out of the little creature baits that I was using. I don't know where all my creature baits went. My dad might have taken my little bag of them to go fishing earlier. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw on this purple lizard because it's just about all I have. But I think it'll do the trick. Let me go ahead and rig this sucker up. Oh, I got one. Oh, gosh, dude. How the heck? I think that might have been a bluegill, honestly. It was like, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah, it was either a really small fish or it was a bluegill. Dude, that double hookup we had in here when it was really clear was sick. Oh, you got oh, one coming Oh, over. yeah, yeah, see him. Or no? Yeah, yeah, man. No, he's looking at it. You're about to catch. Oh, there's two. Dude, you got two on you. That one's about to eat it. See him come from the left? Yeah. Yeah, but he's got you. Got him. Got one? Yeah. Got him. Look, the Try to get one. the other one. Throw him behind him. Throw him behind him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Let's go! Oh, oh, oh! Let's go! No, I lost mine! Oh, I tried. Oh, dude, that was a. He was trying to steal it out of Fletcher's. Fletcher had that one fish, and this fish was trying to steal it out of his mouth. I saw him come over. And I, dude, he's a thick boy. I would literally stop my like really mine so the other guy oh. would stop so he would, could pick up his bait. It got off when I was trying to do that. We kind of got crisscrossed right there, but that was awesome. That was just that was dude. That was that's like top twenty moments like material right there. That was unbelievable. <laughs> so Fletcher saw a different fish, and I was like, dude, he's coming over to you. And I think I thought that was the one he was talking about, and then I realized that there was two. And right when he hit that other one, this guy tried to steal it out of the other one's mouth. I promise you, that fish is almost three and a half. What you thinking, three and a half? I'm thinking three and a half, easy. Mine was pretty much the same size, they were very similar. Let's get a weight, I think it's close to three and a half. I don't know if it's gonna hit it. It's a very dense fish though. Dude, that was so cool, so freaking cool. 317, so just shy of three and a quarter. It's kind of faded, it's hard to see. We'll get her back in the water. Needless to say, that was a freaking sweet scenario. I just wish Fletcher could have got his fish. So we could have had that double, man. <laughs> but beautiful three and a quarter right there. Let's get her back in the water. There she goes. Yeah, guaranteed. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Got one. There we go. Oh, ho, ho. Noah, I don't think you can beat this one today. Oh my God. Dude, this is a tank. He's at least seven times bigger than Oh. <laughs> Bro, this is a double digit. All day. 10 ounces, baby? 10 ounces? That's double digits, baby? I don't even think he's 10. This, this fish might be like, might be four ounces. <laughs> Later, bud. Shoo. <laughs> I don't even know how he got that lizard in his mouth, let alone the hook. All right, that does it for this pond. We are moving on to the next. I know. It's really like no easy way to cast on any of these bushes. Oh, God, I was dangling. I was dangling. I was, my line was stuck on that tree right there. I was trying to like pop it off. You stick them? No, definitely not. Ah, just too much slack on that. I'll try to like toss my line over that limb. It just would not come off. Oh, that's a great cast. All right. 
Oh, I snapped it. I snapped off. You have it on floor, don't you? Yeah, I don't have a, a good strong rod that's got braid on it right now. I could switch that reel over to this rod, but uh, for some reason I didn't do that. <laughs> for some reason I decided to fish with four carbon. You live and you learn. Hey, I think I still have caught more on the frog today than you have. <laughs> Well, let's hop back into the box real quick and tie on another fresh frog after snapping that guy off. There we go, rigged back up. We're gonna move spots now. So let's go ahead and hop in the cart and get to it. We've made it to our next spot right here. We got some more good frog and water right here. We got a few little grass mats, all kinds of stuff going on. But the fish in this pond, guys, let me tell you, they love the frog. They just go crazy for it. So we're gonna get started over here, see what we can't find. I must say that we're not going to get a single frog bite in this whole pond. There we go. Oh yeah. There we go. That's a good fish. Get on up here, bucko. Crush that thing. Just came at it from the side and just took off with it. Got him actually hooked pretty good right there, surprisingly. Definitely a pretty dang dark bass. I mean, he's definitely got dark colors all over him, but I'm gonna go ahead and launch him from up here because it's kind of hard to get down this bank. So I will see you later, bud. Even though we were getting rained on, it ended up being a super fun day. Had a lot of fun out there, but hopefully y'all enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. But as always, Bassin is passion. Peace.